Hello, everyone. So I was on Roblox and I was just looking around for games to play. And I found this universal kind of showcase. And I was interested in it because, you know, I love I love Universal. I love roller coasters. Really, I love any game with where you can like those build your own theme park games. I love those. So I went into it and um, I was riding some of the rides and I noticed that a lot of them are really, really similar to like the actual rides. So I just wanted to show um, the newest addition to this uh, uh, like virtual theme park, the um, the Rip It Rocket roller coaster. It's really one of my favorites, actually. So I'm actually just going to do a little comparison between the real thing, which I've got on my left. It's just a little YouTube video. I don't know whose it is. I guess thanks for letting me use your video. But um, so I'm going to do a comparison between the real ride and then the virtual ride. And I've done it a couple times already just to kind of practice. So this ride on Roblox is a little bit different because of the game mechanics and basically how Roblox roller coasters work. So basically in every game, I guess there's a specific kind of game mechanism for how fast they go and whatnot and like how the gravity works. So it's a little bit different from the actual ride which is how gravity actually works but it's pretty darn close so i kind of just wanted to show you guys and just do a pretty cool it's it's really cool how it's actually similar and the compare my comparison actually kind of works because basically i just skip in between the video to make it work but i'm gonna try and get into the front row here and this is all owens here i'm doing a comparison between oh. the actual ride and this. But if I don't get front row, then I'm going to wait for the next car. Oh, man, you Bruh. didn't get front row. All right. Oof. So I'm going to wait for the next car. Do you want to watch and see if I can mess this up or not? Sure. Yeah, so this ride is one of our favorite rides. Rip it, rock it. Yeah, Amazing in, ride. in Universal. and I'm pretty sure you can play your own song on this one, too. Yeah, yeah. I noticed the soundtrack is a little bit different from the original ride. Um, I didn't really showcase that. I just clicked kind of like a random song, but I mean, it's pretty cool how they can do this. Yeah. It's like all the songs are accurate to what it actually is in universe. No, I just said that they weren't. Oh, they weren't? No, I looked at it. Like I couldn't find, uh, some of the classic rock oh, that I normally kind of choose. Sad. Yeah. So basically I'm going to start it off when we reach this top here, as you can see in the virtual one, I think they have more rings and this top is a little bit slower than on the real ride. So I'm actually going to pause the video, but I'm just going to kind of start it up. It's very accurate though. Yeah, it's, I mean, look at that. And this video is in the daytime. I'm actually showing it during the nighttime. So Here, I'm going to pause it at the top, yeah. wait for this ride to get to the top. But yeah, I mean, it's a little bit slower, it looks like, and there's more rings. Yeah, just because, like I was talking about, that Roblox game mechanics for the um, the roller coasters. And here we go. Oh. I'm going to pause it. Okay. And now we're going down. So it's That's, really like it's got that yeah, twist the in twist, it. As it turns. Yeah, it's really, really close. Yeah. Now, the, pause it. the game actually gets to this area. Oh, shoot. The game gets to this area a little bit quicker than the actual ride. So it's right now. Yeah, there's like it's a little bit parts ahead. and faster parts. It looks so like I just skipped a little bit in the video. And here we are again, synced up almost, almost, almost yeah. nearly synced up. And we are at this part. I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. Oh, looks like so it changes. It changes a little bit here just because I think in this area, the video is actually a little bit slow. So the ride is slightly longer in real life than in the actual game. And now we're synced up again because I skipped a couple seconds. Yeah, this this uh this game is it, very cool. It's though. a really it's a very good showcase and it's very close to the real thing. And see we're at this track again. And the like the park is very accurate too. What yeah. it used to look like at least. Yeah. It's not like So you notice new... there's a superhero town and here we are at the end. So I mean that is pretty very 
like very close. We noticed that the superhero town wasn't there, and that the Back to the Future town was there. Yeah, which is kind of weird because you know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I all in all, I mean, I know how hard it is to make a roller coaster, but to make it this accurate to the actual thing, like you saw, I only had to skip a couple of seconds, and I think the real reason behind that is just because of the Roblox, how the roller coasters are made and how they are how they work really in the game. So, I mean, it was pretty good. And I mean, they've got like the going into the line is very similar. This sign also similar. And they have wait times too, which is kind of weird, but you yeah, know. but like this outdoor area, it is exactly it's very accurate. I mean, they don't have, there's supposed to be like a monster mash thing here, but I mean, there's this pavilion monster, here I'm pretty and sure everything. It's right in the middle, right there. Yeah. So, I mean, and then they've got a map and stuff too. Yeah, they have Harry Potter World and all that. Yeah, so um, we can do other comparison videos if you guys want. I just kind of want to do this because I love roller coasters, and Rip It Rocket is really one of my yeah, favorites. it's like one of the best rides in Universal. <laughs> yeah, with the Hulk as the second. So let us know if you guys want us to do more. Obviously, we'll work on more of those One Piece showcases. Um we hope everyone is staying home and staying safe. Have a good day. And yeah, thank you to all our supporters. And yeah, that's it for us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.